with the recent character Oni is busy portraying these days, Olori Ashley is very tired of whatever Oni has to say to her because she has realized that there is nothing she can do to impress Oni. So why is it that she keeps on using all her energy, using all her strength to try and prove to Oni that she is helping him do whatever he needs to do? If I thought she's finding ways to actually get it sorted from with the Oloris, then this is not the perfect way. This is not the perfect way as she has said because it is going to create a huge havoc in the palace because everybody has their own things to do. Everybody has whatever they need to do in order to survive inside of the palace. If Olori Ashley is ready to do it, then fine, that is okay. She will be ready to take the next step in whatever she's doing. But right now, as we are definitely speaking, no matter how bad it may be, always have somebody that will help you during tough situations. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we we'll bring you top tips from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Olori Ashley has gone with a sacrifice down to the river goddess in order to appease them, in order for them to change the mind of Oni in actually bringing another woman inside of the palace that will carry out her job. And this has become a very useful thing for her to do because she has realized that whatsoever problem she has had, she has always been the daughter of the soil. So it is a huge advantage for her, a very huge advantage for her to take on. But now it is seeming like as if things have not been going well for her right from the very start. And it has become more and more dangerous for her. Because now Oni is threatening this right now. Oni is threatening to remove her just because of the things that she has done in the past. Just because of what she's saving now. You know when they would say, um, don't do bad things, it will always hit you up front. They think it is all a lie. But now, look at what they are facing. Now, take Oni Ashley for an example now. Look at what she's facing in the eyes of Oni. If at all she has been doing things to help herself, this is going to be like the last straw for her. This is already the last straw for her. There is nothing like this is going to be. This is already the last straw for her. The only the Grover goddess now, it is up to them to make a decision whether they are trying, they are going to try and convince the, the, the um, Oni or not. Because everybody has their own specification. Everybody has their own things they are facing. The river goddess too needs to do some rituals too in order to ensure her own protection and safety from whatever is happening in her life. Not that you just come from nowhere and say you need this, you need that and you expect they provide it. It is not possible like that. So if at all she is ready to make that vow and say yes, this is what I want to do. If her sacrifice is accepted, then it is going to be a huge thing for her. It is going to be a very huge thing because now she will have to worry less about things that are happening in the palace. She will have to worry less about things that are going on and that will make a huge difference in her life. That will make a whole difference in the life of Olori Ashley because if Oni decides to take on with his, with his plan, it is never going to be a safe place for her or the Oloris. Because Oni has decided that he will do every single thing in his power to ensure that these Oloris definitely leave the palace. Because he is trying to look for ways to bring back his dearest queen Naomi. But do you think this is the right way to start doing it? Do you think this is what he needs to do? Do you think this is the, honest, this is the most honest way to actually solve all of this case? Because he has seen that the Oloris are doing too much to themselves. It is okay for him to take decisions. But let him know that the decisions that he is taking... It is something that is going to help him in the future. Not that he will just come and make decisions based on whatever he's seen. He needs to make decisions that will suit every single person. And all of those decisions should be made as soon as possible to avoid all of these stories that touch the heart nowadays because nobody is willing to fight for anybody. Everybody has what they are facing. Nobody is willing to take anybody's burden. Everybody has what they are doing. And in that case, no matter how exactly it's going, no matter what is happening in the life of Oni and also in the life of Olori Ashley, she should know that now her time is limited. So it is either Oni accepts what is going on right now or it declines. It's up to her to know what she can do. But at the point where Oni finds himself in, he is ready to send every single one of his Oloris out one by one if it means he is going to bring back Queen Naomi into the palace of Ilefe. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section.